Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the 2014 Ninja Turtles movie, Raphael, from Playmates Toys. It's a new series of Ninja Turtles action figures based on the upcoming film. So let's go ahead and start things off by taking a look at my personal favorite turtle, Raphael. As you can see, they come on brand new blister card packaging that has a really great look to it. The background is bright and colorful with different shades of green and the new movie Ninja Turtles logo emblazoned across the top. And then all down the left hand side of the box, we get images of the turtles as they appear in the new movie. And you notice that the turtle that is within this particular box is actually shown on the bottom corner of the blister bubble, which means this card back is gonna be different for each of the four turtles. Kind of a neat touch. And then flipping this over to the back side of the box, we get those same images of the four turtles from the film, as well as a description of the movie. And below that, we get a look at a selection of figures in this brand new movie lineup. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Raphael outside of the packaging. So the turtles have new designs for this film. They're definitely a lot more serious looking and even are a lot more humanoid like than I think we've ever seen them before. And while the designs from the movie that we've seen so far have definitely had some mixed reactions, one thing that I'm going to say right out the gate here is that I do feel these designs translate well into action figures. The Raphael figure here looks pretty cool. Just looking him outside of the box here, I think he's got a really great action figure look. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at all the new details we've got here. So we'll start with the head sculpt. This particular version of Raphael is wearing a full head cap red bandana. So it completely covers the top of his head. You'll notice he's got the flowing parts of the bandana kind of hanging down over the back of his shell there. And then the eyes peering through are painted all white. Now in the movie, they do have pupils, but on these action figures, just like we've seen in many, many incarnations of the Ninja Turtles in toy form, the eyes are whited out. And I think I really like that about these. You can see he does have the little nostrils on there and he's got kind of the angrier grimace on his face, but it's still a good turtle shape to the head and it's a pretty good head sculpt all around. Now moving down his body here, you can see a lot of really great sculpted details. Raphael is definitely the biggest and most muscular of the turtles in this new movie. So you can see he's definitely a lot more bulked up here. And there's a lot of great texture designs, a lot of scales kind of seen in the skin there on the shoulders and the arms. And even the little chest plate there has got a lot of wear to it. He's got a sash going across his uh, shoulders there, kind of going across his chest. And then instead of a typical Ninja Turtles belt around his waist, he's actually wearing sort of like a loincloth, something that you would see on a barbarian. It's kind of a neat look for the character though. I actually like this quite a bit. You can see he does have a lot of wraps kind of going on there too. His right arm's got some wraps on his bicep and his arm, and then his right leg has also got white wraps going down his thighs there, while his left side has got a red wrap on his bicep and a red wrap going across his knee. So a little bit of a mixed up look with the colors there. Overall, the paint job's pretty good on this guy. I mean, he's got a lot of painted details. You can see that he's got a great mixture of the greens in his skin tone with the kind of tan of the chest, the whites of the wraps, the reds on his headband and some of the wraps, the browns on the belt and the legs, and the shells painted even a different shade of brown than what we see on the belt and everything. So for the most part, this guy's already got a lot more paint applications than we've been seeing with many of the other Ninja Turtles toys from Playmates, and I really like that. Even the little ring on the front of his loincloth is painted silver. Something like that is usually completely overlooked on a lot of the Playmates Ninja Turtles figures, so I, I feel like they're giving it a little bit more oomph for the movie figures, probably because there's a little bit of a bigger budget on these. Alright, so let's go ahead and break down the articulation here. The head's on a ball joint that allows it to look left and right and move slightly up and down, but because of the larger shell on his back, the head kind of does that tilt side to side thing, so it doesn't really get a really good solid left and right look at the neck. He's got ball joints at the shoulder so the arms can go up, forwards, backwards. He's got swivels above the elbow as well as an elbow bend. However, there's no articulation at the wrists. He's got nothing in his torso or his waist. So the next point of articulation are the hinge joints at the thighs, which allow the legs to move outwards, forwards and backwards as well as swivel around. He's also got swivels at the knees as well as a nice knee joint. But again, no articulation at the ankles. So he does have a decent amount of posability here. 
But the biggest downfall is the fact that you can't swivel his wrists and you can't move his ankles. You'll notice that his forearms and his hands are sculpted to be holding onto his weapons. So it's really going to limit the amount of poses you can get since you can't rotate his hands. So speaking of weapons, of course Raphael comes with his signature weapons, the Psy. Now in standard Playmates Ninja Turtles fashion, the weapons are unpainted. They're just a solid color silver plastic. You'll notice that there is a little bit of detail on there because there's some little wraps kind of wrapped around the handles of the Psy there. And they are a little large. I mean, they're big size compared to what he normally holds on to. And you can fit them nicely in his hands, either kind of pointing upwards, pointing downwards. And what I was really happy about is you can get my favorite pose where he's got his fingers between the blade there. Now, like I said before, the fact that you can't rotate his wrists is going to hinder the amount of poses you can get out of the Psy, which really is a bit of a shame. Now this particular figure stands 5 inches tall, so it's about in the same scale that we've seen a lot of the Ninja Turtles. And Raphael here is actually the largest of the new batch of turtles, so as we start looking at the other turtles, you'll notice that he stands taller than all the rest of them. Another cool thing I want to point out is that he's got the dark green skin tone. He seems to be keeping the same skin tone seen in many other versions of Raphael, specifically the newer Nick Turtles one. That's another thing you're going to notice as we look at the rest of the turtles. They all seem to retain their different green skin tones that was seen on the Nick Turtles. So while we're talking about comparing things, alright guys, it's comparison time. Here's a look at the brand new movie Raphael standing alongside the recent Nick Turtles versions of Raphael. And hey, just for fun, how about standing him alongside some of the past movie versions of Raphael? And gosh, there's been so many Ninja Turtles figures in the past, so here he is alongside a ton of different Raphael figures from the various Ninja Turtles toy lines. So there you go, my friends. There's a look at the brand new movie Raphael figure from Playmates Toys. Overall, I really like this figure. Honestly, I think the new look of the Turtles translates very well into action figure form, especially on Raphael here. I think the paint job is really good, and the only real lacking part of this figure is the articulation. If we would have just had some swivels at the wrists or some ankle joints, we could have had a lot more posing options out of this guy and could have done a lot more with him. But otherwise, it's a really solid figure, and I really like this guy. He's just sort of a new version of the Turtles to add to our shelf amongst the many different types we've had in the past. The brand new movie Ninja Turtles figures are starting to show up on store shelves right now. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.